Adventures in Catawba Water. In 1972, one of my favorite artists, Gerald Jackson, uh, showed me a book he'd done that had these color field pastels in them. And I'm trying to, I, I know I'm getting cataracts, but sometimes I can brighten up the world by taking my sunglasses off. <laughs> okay. I have to be able to see what I'm doing sometimes. Uh, so, um, so Gerald showed me this book he'd done in one of those Windsor and Newton blank sketchbooks, and it had these pages of words, uh, and in between were 72 color field pastel, and that was it. And I loved it. It was just beautiful. So I said, boy, this would be a great book to figure out how to do something with. And I didn't want to, you couldn't reproduce it. You can't really reproduce that feeling of pastels. But I thought, why don't I use it as inspiration and create a new book? And I created a book using a method of printing that made color field prints using a linoleum block. Those of you who are letterpress printers and do make ready, uh, this is made with make ready, which is what you put underneath the tympan paper in a printing press, one of these to, um, to make your type come out even. So I took a flat block and I used the make ready to make it come out uneven. So that's how I created the textures, the color field, 72 different colors. And so each of these, these books comes with one of those pages. So I create, what happened was, seeing all this color on the printing press, I started to hear it. And maybe it's some kind of synesthesia, I don't know. But um, I started, it started sounding like an opera, where I'd, I'd see these words and I would hear them like, uh, like, a, like with a little bit from a libretto. And uh, so, I composed a score, and uh, for the kind of musicians like Nick, who played the bassoon on it, which you'll hear in a minute, um, I have notation like this, um, and the musicians had all 72 color blocks, and in this, I would call out a color, and they would switch and interpret the block of color with their instrument within certain parameters. So we, I rented Mercury Studios in New York, which was the best soul uh, recording studio in the East Coast. And Chuck Irwin, who was a great engineer, and uh, did about five, six takes of each of the seven movements of the piece, and then put them together as an LP that was issued with the book. So I've got the score uh, here in notes. I've got the notes that uh, the musicians played with, and I'm gonna play you um, a little bit of that now. Now I begin to think. I am, then am not, then is no more. Words, friends. Out show your silver bow across the Bowery, the Astro Children boxes, one on top. Here is the time of thought invaded with just an ordinance. The paintings, poems, fear, dream, in order to report on what's going down. One thought is a sweet essence. One drop of water. And set the drop at the highest point of sound. The heater. Air going out, heat, a ring. Earring, red and gold. sitting around talking about the box of other sex. Okay, so this, this goes on for 38 minutes, so I'm not going to play all of that right now. After oh. I play a couple of other things, I'll put this on while we get while you have refreshments, and you can have some wine and listen to more if you want to. There's a beautiful uh, 
blues section in the, in, 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 in the end of it. I have great, some great musicians.